So folks, we're out on the Ohio today. It's the first time I've ever fished it when it was down around normal. It's supposed to come up like 15 foot in the next couple days. So it's just initially starting its rise. I've got my good luck charm with me today. Hopefully that'll help me out. I haven't been having good luck. So I'm gonna get out here and try to find some fish. So what I've noticed today already is this Ohio River ain't got the current, the Mississippi, when it's down. So that's a good thing if you're like me, used to fighting current everywhere you go, you know, you kind of, I, I like to try to fish the lakes and everything once in a while just to get out of the current. Um, it looks like it's got enough in it to catch fish though. Sometimes, you know, having a little current is a good thing too. But I mean, it just hardly ain't moving out here. Probably a mile an hour or something like that. It's a cold April day after a cold front, but the barometric pressure is like super low. So there's a couple good things going for us. The river's raising, the barometric pressure's low. Um, one bad thing about it, it's after a cold front and it's windy as all get out as usual. But I'm gonna get out here and try to find some fish and holler at y'all here in a little bit. Well, folks, I've been lied to yet again by the weatherman. They said the wind was supposed to blow 13 mile an hour today at, at the peak. It's done them blowing 25. I just got my post for throwed out. We found a drop off out here in about 25 foot of water. We're going to try it for a little bit. If we don't catch anything like that, I'm going to have to run back up to the truck and get a, damn, get a jacket. Erin, she's cold. No, I'm good. Don't know, I'm not real familiar with Ohio. I do know that if you find a drop off in the Mississippi where you can anchor on it, you usually catch fish. They seem to be a lot of fish there. They said it's supposed to get up near 60 degrees today. It better be getting there because I don't think it's 45 right now. With the wind chill, it's probably about 35. Because, you know, it's got to be blowing 25 mile an hour for, for you to fish. We probably ain't going to fish long today. I just kind of wanted to get out here and jack around a little bit. I feel guilty if I don't go fishing for some reason. The rivers are all supposed to come up real big in the next couple, three days. I mean, raise 10 to 15 foot. Well, we didn't get the first drop of rain around the house. I don't know where all the rain came. You, I watched the weather up north just to keep an eye on it. And, Somewhere it come a flood. Probably Minnesota. I don't think they got enough snowfall up there for it to melt and cause any issues. And people from Minnesota is always getting flooded out. You see it on the news all the time. I ain't got no bite yet. This Ohio is strange. One minute that current is a pumping like a son of a gun, and the next minute it's barely even moving. It's about right, right here. It's about a mile and a half. About right for old. El Big O to be down there. Now whether or not he wants my shad, I got an, some scraps of catfish from a fish fry I'm gonna try today. If 
if I ever get into fish. I do know that if the wind keeps calming down and of course, if I say that I'm going to move, then it's going to go to blowing again. Yeah, I see now. Mentioned moving. And here comes the wind. I'll go up there and get you my thick jacket when I can have that. That way you're warmer and I'm warmer. And we can go do some serious fishing. Well, folks, we went and got ourselves a bunch of clothes now the wind's quit and the sun's come out <laughs> weatherman might not be such a liar we found where they tie barges up and they seem to be a lot of fish it's kind of a current break and then the bottom's real erratic down there like it's got a bunch of trash on it and Everything like that. This morning I met on the air and a couple pole holders up front. She's set back like she's the king of e Egypt or something. I kind of like it because we can fan out and cover. We can fan out and cover more area. She's done and got one on. She's about to hop out of the boat. Go ahead, he's on there. <laughs> oh shoot, he's pulling hard. I think she's gonna like this. Set up a little bit more, at least she can fish a little bit better. Seemed right there around that piling. That's kind of what I was thinking that they might be there. I can't tell by the feel of them. Well, that's a very stiff pole. That's winching in good ones. He's got around the anchor rope. Do I need to let out a little bit? Yeah, I don't know what to do yet. I don't need to back away any further. As he comes out, that's aggravating when they do that. It's a blue cat. He's got around my anchor rope, folks, and I'm having to do some weird stuff. It's a channel cat. Aaron's first fish of the day. <laughs> Big old fat channel cat. I thought it was a blue cat by his color, but. <clears throat> Shoot, I'm getting him up in the camera. I'm going to throw him back in before we wall her around, get him in the camera and everything else. That thing kind of hit like a ton of bricks. Yeah. But fishing with them rod holders is a little bit different than having your pole laid out across the boat. The It seems like the hook sets a lot better on them. I brought my skipjack pole today, hoping that we might see some skipjack, but I got my pole with me, so I ain't going to see them. They say this Ohio River's plumb full of them. I mentioned moving, and here comes the wind. I've noticed something about these Ohio River fish. They 
are hard to get in the boat when you get them up to you. The last one that I caught out here, I don't think so. The last one I caught out here, I got him up to the boat and I had to fight him like I was a steer wrestling for 20 minutes. Thought I was gonna have to shoot him in the head with a 22. Well, I kind of think he's jacking with it again. I don't know, acting highly gar-like. If a gar's swimming along down there and he sees a shad, he's gonna mess with your emotion. I can't tell if he's trying to mess with it some more. He might have got it that last time he hit it. Usually, though, when they get it all off there, they'll give you a courtesy hit, let you know to put more bait on it and throw it back out there at them. That's normally how it goes. You catch one in the first three minutes you're here, and then they just quit, or something happens to them. Aaron's getting another fish. I think he stopped. Oh, that's aggravating. I thought that fish had that. The good thing about it, whenever she gets a bite up there, I can turn towards it and it shows it real good. Could very well be Gar, too. Cause they're biting kind of strange, even for channel cat. Well, folks, we're at hole number two. We just got our pole set now. I'm fixing to bait up my third pole. I'm, well, as a matter of fact, I'm already getting a bite. I kind of thought it was acting strange. That's the reason why I stopped and turned the camera on. Feels like a decent fish. There ain't no um, current here. Of course, here lately I ain't been catching a lot of fish, so they all feel decent. I don't think he's no 60 pounder. Channel cat. That dog, he's doing the channel cat squirrel. Good five, six pound channel cat, male fish. I think he's Aaron's twin. I'll throw him back in and let him go about his business. So we're by this other bridge piling and we're setting in 14 foot of water and around that piling it goes down to 40. I guess it, the river itself, it makes like a, what do you call it, a um, blowout around that. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it does something there. 
there's a word for it. I'm going to keep on throwing the small shad until we get a blue cat. We got a couple more places I want to hit. That it was so cold and windy this morning when we got here that we couldn't really fish it. But the wind's sort of dying down. And the weatherman did say that it was going to die down throughout the day. So maybe he ain't such a liar. It'll probably shoot lightning bolts at us here directly because it wasn't supposed to... You're getting a bite. So we might have gotten a pretty active place if we can find blue cat though. Of course, we'll sit here and catch channel cat. God dog, that acts like a blue cat. And that fish got off. If that ain't something, that was a good takedown right there. We might have found the cat's meow with catfish holes. I've caught many a sassy catfish around the islands. There's all kinds of depths we can fish right here from 45 to 2. We got Hank Jr. doing Hank Jr. stuff. That was a little strange. I thought we was fixing to get checked again. Then I heard Hank Jr. and I don't figure. <laughs> don't figure. Illinois conservation listens to Hank Jr. Her right hand pole's doing something strange. Dog, he's a pulling a little bit. Took a little drag right there. Come dog. Who'd have thought that? No, it's a drum. <laughs> uh, it's so pretty to see a different fish. I know you don't, I know. If I was desperate for bait, I would keep him for bait. You need to hold this. No, I'm trying to. Pretty good size drum. Yeah. That's neat. You know it's getting close to summertime when you catch a six pound drum on a shad. I've caught catfish on drum, but it's not my preferred bait. See, if I was on my last shad, I'd have never caught that fish when I needed bait. I need to reel in that pole that I got that good bite on check for bait. That drum must have liked Tank Jr. Or disliked him, didn't bite until after he got by. It couldn't even have been a striped bass, had to be a drum. See? Yeah. I don't know what it is. It keeps going back down though. 
I don't either. But see the back half of him? That fish is five foot long, whatever it is. Unless it's two of them right there. But I think I see him underneath the water. Whatever that is, is big. Is that? I hope y'all seen this on camera because that is strange. I ain't never seen anything like that. And whatever that is, is a freaking hoss. Because he stretches from where he's coming up out of the water back to that tree behind him. Because I can see him underneath the water there a little bit. I kind of feel like it might be a sturgeon. I think I'm getting a bite on my fur right hand pole. I just asked Erin if she was ready to move and that's what generally happens. Probably another drum. They just don't act like blue cat here. They act like channels and I had one bite there that it was probably a blue cat and I didn't get on him in time. So I think we're fixing to move. So we was just reeling in our poles and Aaron got a pretty good takedown. We'll see what it is. If it's a blue cat, we'll sit here with them and just tie on all new bait. We got to remember that the anchor rope's back here. So I, th I think it's a pretty good fish. He was struggling at first and now he's coming. So I don't think it's very big. It doesn't feel very big. That thing's going to get right in that yeah. anchor. in there. He's trying to swim upstream. That's usually a sign that they're pretty big. I kind of feel like it's a blue cat the way he's shaking his head like that. Uh, <laughs> well, he won't come up. There he is. I didn't get a good look at him, but I think it's a channel. He's freaking feisty. It is a channel. Pretty good channel cat. do some resituating here and I'll get over the back of the boat. I might have to get the dip net on him. Let's see. I think I can get him. Pretty good little channel cat. That's what we're in. We're in a batch of channel cat. Aaron with another <laughs> seven pound channel cat. You want me to take him? I don't want to take him. <laughs> she don't want to touch him. I don't blame her. I'm so used to it that it don't bother me. I've got a pole over here tangled up. 
Well, folks, I had my camera turned off for some reason. And I hooked into a fish. We have moved again. And kind of up here in some slack current. Hopefully it's a blue. If it's a blue, we might sit here with them a little bit. If it's a channel, we'll probably move on back down there where we come from. I couldn't get in here like I wanted. The wind was blowing crossways to the current. Just a... It is a blue. I've got the boat parked up on the bank and it's still blowing it around. We just, we just lost all traction. Pretty good little old blue. It's being aggravating whenever the wind's blowing crossways with the current. Cause like right now we got everything in a mess. We're fixing the move somehow where we can get on these or do something a little different. Five pound blue. First blue of the day. He's kind of scarred up for some reason. I don't know. Well, last ditch effort, folks. The boat ramps within casting distance of us. If we don't get a fish here, we're going to call it and go get something to snack on. All we need is the big takedown. There goes the swim bladder out of a fish. I might have them all dead somewhere. Oh boy. This fishing's hard. I'm kind of stoked about zooming in that video and see what that big fish was. Well, folks. We caught a few fish today, nothing any size to amount to anything, but we still caught a few fish. Sometimes that's hard to do. I'll see y'all later.